Fallout 76 was released in November of 2018, and it is now February of 2021. The game has been out for 2 years or 27 months if you want to get technical. In this video, I want to talk about the evolution of Fallout 76 and my personal experience and opinion on what has really happened with this game over the last 2 years. Now in this video, I will not be giving any spoilers related to the storyline for Fallout 76. This video will be a simple talk over some simple gameplay. So if you're looking for a complex documentary, unfortunately, this isn't for you. For the first year of Fallout 76's life, I played the game very heavily, from November of 2018 to about December of 2019. I played it at launch, where the game was not the greatest to say the least, where it was littered with an insane amount of bugs and glitches, to the point where it was almost unplayable. And on top of that, the game really didn't have that much content overall. However, Bethesda started releasing patches and adding stuff in that the community wanted to see. They added new events and made improvements in all aspects of the game. They improved crafting, added new features, added quality of life items, and they even added a battle royale mode among other things, and the game slowly started getting better. However, they did not add anything that game changing until year 2. However, this was when I stopped playing Fallout 76 for personal reasons. In the time I was away from Fallout 76, from about December of 2019 to February of 2021, the game got two major updates which changed the game completely. And these two major updates were Still Dawn and Wastelanders. These two updates introduced quite a bit, including NPCs, more main story for the game, choices and consequences, a dialogue tree, new features, new events, new quality of life items, new quests, new bosses. These two updates introduced a lot more than that, to the point where Fallout 76 is starting to feel like a classic Bethesda game, and keep in mind I use that term very loosely. It's starting to feel like a classic Fallout game with friends. Now keep in mind, the game does still have its share of problems, but nowhere near the same amount it once had. The game also needs more content and to be updated regularly. I'm not saying it is perfect or anything like that, all I'm saying is that it is a much better game than it once was. When I returned to Fallout 76 on February 9th of 2021, after being away for almost a year, it was a breathtaking experience. The game had changed completely, due to the two major updates we talked about earlier. The game was completely unrecognizable, everything had changed. All the way from small things like crafting recipes to big things like new main quests. Almost everything I have encountered since I have been back is new to me. New enemies, new environment, new everything. And I have not even discovered everything the game has to offer so far as of right now. When Fallout 76 was first launched in 2018, I supported the game. I always said the game could get better and would be unrecognizable in a few years. I got a lot of hate for those opinions. And if you were here on the channel during that time, you probably remember when almost every video I uploaded got disliked into oblivion and all I got was hate. And keep in mind, when I say hate, I don't mean somebody disagreed with me or had a different opinion. I'm talking about people harassed me constantly, called me names and stuff like that. Now keep in mind, I'm not whining about it. I have a very thick skin. It really didn't bother me, but Things didn't go so well for me at first when I started making Fallout 76 content, especially when I came out in support of the game and talked about how it could get better. Now, here we are, two years later, where we have an amazing Fallout 76 community both here on this channel and when it comes to the game itself. I am glad my predictions were right and the game did get better. I am glad that Bethesda did not give up on this game because it is really turning into something amazing. And I cannot wait to see where the game is in two years. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Like I said, a simple talk over some simple gameplay. Anyways, I love you all. I hope to see you back here in the next one. But until then, remember to stay awesome. And bye bye everybody. Have a good one. And I'll see you all next time.